Look at all of you walking in laughter like a deranged and a bewitched hyena at failed marriages. Instead of you to put ashes on your head, put on sackcloth, cry, wail, and pray to God for the restoration of the family unit and for marriages not to fail. Since some of you have forgotten or do not know, let me remind you. Can you not see that the marriage and the family unit is under attack and has been under attack from the devil from time immemorial? Read the book of Genesis chapter 3 from beginning to end. The devil hates God and hates the family unit, hates marriages. Because he understands that marriage gives God pleasure and that it is the one singular unit that will help to populate the earth healthily. That's why he perverts minds into lesbianism, homosexualism, same-sex marriages, divorces, separation, emotional abuse, physical abuse, all manners of abuses. As long as the family unit and marriage is concerned, can't you see? Can't you see? Shame on you for setting up ring lights to analyze marriages, failed marriages, failed relationships, instead of you to set up ring lights to pray for marriages and the family unit. Shame on you, shame on you also, who say all these marriages now scam. Marriages these days are not encouraging me. Marriages are not for me. I will not marry. I say shame on you, God forsaken scholars. You should put on sackcloth ashes on your head and pray for your lost soul. As for me, myself and I, <laughs> I will get married. Even if it has to be at the age of 100. Yes. So, the man formed for me by God. Come forth. Come forth unto me. Come forth unto you, carrier. Not all these K legged, bow legged, uneducated, unspiritual, unromantic, hot tempered men, moneyless men. I've been on the queue since. Oh, you should just get out. Get out. Let a real McCoy come in and tell me. Uh -huh. Before you all come for me, hold your fire. Let me tell you something. The word of my Father, my God, in the book of Luke 137 says, For with God nothing shall be impossible. Mm -hmm. So, soon enough, you all will be calling me the Sarah of our generation. And I know you do not know or have forgotten, let me remind you. As men get older, not all men, but a large percentage of men, as they get older, they begin to have erectile dysfunction, which means they are no longer hot. And a lot of women, as they get older, a very large percentage, <laughs> they are still very hot. So you see, he who laughs last, laughs best. <laughs> what will people say? It has killed a lot of people. What will people say? What will they say about, oh, if I do this, what will they say? They will not say anything. What about the ones who say, let them say, that's their business. If the marriage is not working, it's not a do or die affair, no, like no, you said, no, no. okay? Don't sit back there and get killed. I don't support that. If it's not working, he or she is beating you. And please, save your life, yes. right? Yes. Save your life. Marriage is good, trust me. Don't let people uh, uh, make you believe that it's not, okay? At the same time, from my end, do not rush it, I'll tell you. Mr. A can marry at uh, 22, 23, that's beautiful. If you're not able to achieve that, it's not the end of yes. the world, right? Take it's time. not. Take your time, okay? It's better you do it and do it right than rush into it and, uh, and it just becomes a problem for you. At the same time, it's still not a do-or-die affair, 
all right if it's not working you can still walk away yeah. it's better to be alive most importantly yeah, exactly. be alive okay that's very very important than trying to have a good marriage and at the end of the day you're going to uh, probably die inside which we don't pray for but you should be alive okay